Hey everyone, Dave here. Logitech just released the brand new update to the highly popular Logitech One with the new Logitech Two. This is a video conferencing bar that's designed for small and huddle rooms in the office to do your video meetings like on Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Ring Central, and Google Meet. The design is made from a 62% post-consumer recycled plastic material, which is a satin black finish. It also has a more square or rectangular design to it, which really modernized the style. I even like that they included a shutter and when you close the shutter, it's white that makes it pop and you can clearly identify when the shutter's on. The dimensions are eight and a half inches wide by three inches tall and three inches deep. There's a 55 millimeter speaker built into the video bar with a 4K digital pan tilt zoom camera. And there are six microphones built into the body of this to power its AI noise cancellation software, as well as give you 23 feet of microphone pickup, which of course we're gonna test out thoroughly later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. There's a few ways to mount the Meetup 2. First is you can lay it on a desk. I kind of miss the way that the Meetup 1 worked is it had a desk stand that allowed you to change the angle of the camera, whereas the Meetup 2 lays flat, and I had to use a box to prop it up to get the angle that I wanted. Alternatively, you can mount it on top of your TV like a webcam, or you can mount it onto the wall with the included bracket on the Meetup 2. You can also use a tripod, or you can get an accessory to attach it to your TV below. There are five ports on the back of the Meetup 2. You have your power port, USB-C, HDMI in, HDMI out, and you have your ethernet port. There's also three buttons, your power, Bluetooth pairing, and the ability to turn on your local area network on or off. Included in the box is the Meetup 2 video bar. You have a 10 foot USB-C 2.0 cable, the power adapter, and also you have the two screws for mounting. What I find interesting is they did not include any HDMI cables and they only included a USB-C 2.0 cable where they could have included a USB-C 3.0 cable which supports audio, video, and screen sharing, whereas the 2.0 cable only supports audio and video and doesn't even give you 4K, which it only supports 1080p. So that means you need to plug in two cables from the laptop to the Meetup 2 HDMI and USB-C. Now my newer laptop doesn't even have an HDMI port, so I have to use an extra adapter in order to plug in the HDMI portion. It's so much simpler to plug in the one 3.0 USB-C cable to support all audio, video, and screen sharing, which Logitech does sell as an extra $169 accessory, which is a 15 foot long USB-C 3.1 cable. Unlike the Meetup One that's just plug and play with one USB cable and a power adapter, the Meetup Two is not like that. It's a little bit more complicated because it's designed to be used by a team to deploy to their variety of rooms and can be managed remotely uh, from the internet. So there's networking now built into the Meetup Two, Wi-Fi, or a wired ethernet connection. You'll start by plugging in the power adapter, the HDMI cable to the TV so you can see what's going on, and then the USB-C cable to the laptop. The TV will guide you through the setup instructions, which I use the smartphone to get set up to the internet. You'll just scan it, download an app, and then follow the prompts in order to get the Meetup 2 on your Wi-Fi network. Once connected to your Wi-Fi, then you'll use your laptop in order to connect up to the IP address of the Meetup 2 which will prompt you to change the username or password on the device to a more unique password. Then you're gonna log into your Logitech Sync account, and if you don't have one already, you can create a free account. 
After you're logged in to the Logitech Sync software, it will prompt you to create a room that the Meetup2 device will live within. Then you're going to select which platform, either BYOD, which stands for Bring Your Own Device, or App Space. You can adjust the Logitech Meetup2 in a variety of ways. One is accessing the local IP address and using the username and password that you set up on the initial setup. Number two is you can download the Logitech Sync app, and as long as you have the USB cable plugged in, you can manage the Meetup2. Or the third way is you can log into Logitech Sync from any web browser on any network in order to gain access to the Meetup2. The benefit of the Logitech Sync software is that it allows a company to manage all of the devices and rooms all from one software to update it, to adjust settings, all remotely. So no matter if you have a distributed workforce, multiple locations, you're able to actually manage that directly from one software. But it does make it a bit more difficult if you're a smaller company trying to set up the Meetup 2. The Logitech Meetup 2 is not an appliance mode device, which means that you do need a computer in order to use it with Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or Google Meet, which is why it's priced at $899, which is $1,000 less than the Logitech Rally Mini. There's two ways that you can use the Meetup 2. One is BYOD, you have a laptop, and your users come into the room, use their laptop, plug in the one or two cables into the laptop, and they're ready to use the Meetup 2. Or two, you can get a dedicated computer with a Logitech tablet in order to set it up as a dedicated room system. After the initial setup, you'll plug in the cables into the laptop and then it's ready to go. You can use the speakers, microphone, and camera on any of your video meetings like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or Google Meet, all you'll do is you'll go to your settings in any one of those applications and select the Meetup 2 from your audio, video, and speaker settings. You can adjust the settings of the audio and camera settings in the Logitech Sync app. Once you open the app, you can go to the audio tab and adjust the AI noise cancellation on or off, the echo cancellation, and even the EQ settings of the microphone and speakers. On the camera tab, it has access to additional settings. The first one is the Right Sight 2, which is Logitech's AI camera intelligence. The first mode is group view, which just tries to frame in everybody that's in the room as close as possible, but making sure everyone is in the picture. Then you have speaker mode, which is going to constantly try to switch and zoom in on whoever is speaking. Then you have the grid view, which tries to give everybody that's in the room their own square and will even highlight when they're speaking, which is pretty cool. You can also adjust the different colors and white balances of the picture to customize it further. If you're wondering about the 4K camera quality, how it performs on Teams and Zoom, and curious how the noise canceling microphone sounds, have a listen and view for yourself. All right, now this is the group view mode. It's going to try to get everybody that's in the room. It's going to zoom in to fit them to the closest frame possible. So if you look at if I move around in the room here, it's going to change the view of the camera. I'm going to twist it way close to the camera and see if it picks me up here. Give it a second. And there we are. So as you can see, I'm sitting closer to the camera and now both me and Brandy are visible. All right, now this is the speaker view mode that is going to try to display whoever is uh, speaking up close so that you can be more interactive with the speaker. Brandy, if you could go ahead and talk. Hi, my name is Brandy. We're gonna see if you can find me off to the right of David and I'll keep speaking. Uh, we're testing the Meet 2, um, Meet Up 2, and let's see if it can zero in on my voice. So um, there we are. Now it's just me, and we're just going to chat away and tell our secrets. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and 
jump over here to see if it will switch back over to me as the active speaker so that it zooms in on me to kind of give that more close interaction or zoomed in view of me while I'm speaking. All right, now this is the grid view mode. This is what it looks like as me and Brandy have our own boxes. So it makes it a more interactive um, experience, makes it feel like we're in our own home offices, but in reality, we're in the same conference room. And you'll also notice that there's a green box around the active speaker. Brandy, if you could talk. Hi, I'm Brandy. Um, I am sitting next to David and it definitely has lit up green for me to be the active speaker. Then if I start talking again, it's going to detect that I'm speaking and the green box is going to surround me. And keep in mind, this is being all done directly on the Meetup 2 camera, not on the video conferencing platform. All right, now we're going to test out the microphone. This is what it sounds like when I'm about three feet away from the camera. This is what it sounds like. Now we're going to move over here. This is what it sounds like when you're about six or seven feet away from the camera. This is what it sounds like when you're about seven feet away. So this is what it sounds like when you're about 10 or 12 feet away from the camera. This is what it sounds like. Logitech advertised that it has up to 23 foot of range. So we're gonna test that out. Do one more test here. I'm gonna go to the back corner of the room here. This is what it sounds like when you're in the back corner of the room. This is probably 15 feet away or so. Let's just do one more test outside the door here to see how well you can hear me. So this is probably 20 feet away from the camera. This is what it sounds like when you're outside of the room, about 20 feet away. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the noise cancellation turned off. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with babies crying going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with working dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. If you're curious how the picture quality compares with the original Logitech Meetup One, have a look. This is what it looks like with the footage here. Okay, now we're moving. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch over to here. Back here, see what happens. This is what it looks like over here when I'm speaking on the camera. Let's see what it does. See if it zooms in on me. All right, now we're zooming in. It's quite slow on the old version. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go over here really close to the camera. This is what it looks like when you're this close to the camera. This is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like from this angle. All right. This is what it looks like here. When I'm standing up, this is what it looks like. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, check in one, two. This is what it looks like. Okay, now this is what it looks like. What did you think of the overall camera and microphone performance? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. 
The Logitech Meetup 2 is a lower cost video conferencing device that's designed for huddle rooms and also small conference rooms. It has everything you need built into it and the performance is actually quite good considering the price point. And I do like that there is Wi-Fi and ethernet built into it. So people can remotely manage all of the devices, keeping them up to date and customize it for the users. If you're interested in purchasing this unit, we do have it available on our website. Make sure you use coupon code YouTube to get the deepest discount on our website. We'll have a link on the screen or in the description below, or you can go to headsetadvisor.com forward slash meetup to. Or if you're deploying this to many conference rooms, make sure you reach out to our team. We can make sure it'll work with your phone systems. It's the best recommendation that meets your price points. So call, email, or live chat, and one of our advisors can help. If you need more microphone noise cancellation because you work in a loud environment, whether you're using the Meetup 2, a headset, or really any microphone, we just released a new noise canceling software called Neep. This allows you to cancel out people talking in the background or dogs barking. You can try it for free by going to neep.com or you can check out this full in-depth review video we did right up here. We go over all the details, compare it even with a blender going on in the background. Other than that, that's all I got for you on this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next one.